Marvel Legends fans and collectors, we've got Korg, the builder figure from Thor Love and Thunder, the wave we've just had. I've reviewed all the figures from the wave now. Um, please go back and check them out if you haven't seen them yet. But uh, yeah, this is this is a real treat to put together this one. I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. Again, this is another figure. I had a Korg that came with the, um, what's his name? Professor Malcolm. <laughs> Um, yeah, from, from Ragnarok, but, uh, yeah, again, I moved that figure on at one point and, uh, yeah, now that this opportunity came out to get a new Korg, um, yeah, I had to jump on it and I really, 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 really glad I did. I like his outfit. I love that he's wearing like a, like wearing like a snow jacket over his shoulders and like snow on his legs. Like he needs to keep warm when he's a pile of rocks. <laughs> And that he is actually wearing pants. I think I just think that's really, really funny. Um, if for some reason the legs aren't sort of closing sort of nice and central there, you know, the, the sculpt does allow for it, but there must just be a little bit of extra plastic in there somewhere that I haven't spotted. Um, so I'll probably pull him apart a little bit and try and find that adjustment just to get those legs to sort of, you know, because at the moment he's kind of man-spreading. Um, So it feels like it should close up nicely, but he's uh, got the sort of wide power stance at the moment. But yeah, I think for the most part, most of the figure probably is the same as the previous Korg. Um, obviously different legs, you know, the head's probably the same. Um, well, maybe there's some slight retooling. I'm not sure, I really couldn't tell you, to be honest. Been a couple of years since that Korg was out. Um, but yeah, it does come with this with his club, which is cool. I like it. Yeah, he was a he was a good part of Love and Thunder. I really like Korg. <laughs> he's, you know, Taika Waititi does a great job of his humour and you know. He did a really good job bringing this guy to life again. I felt like maybe even his head shape has changed a little bit since the last one, but I could be wrong. Um, because we all know that Korg did get his first appearance in Thor 2 um, at the start of the Dark World. And he met his end to Thor's hammer very, very quickly. Um, but yeah, I guess they sort of, with Taika deciding to bring Korg into into MCU as a, you know, one of the second main characters, I guess. Um, I guess they decided to just palm off the other one as another sort of rock monster, I guess. They never really named him as Korg, so I guess it was still sort of free and up in the air, and, and you know, Feige obviously decided, yeah, you can do it, we'll, we'll work around it, that's fine. But I think it worked out well. And I'm glad because it's uh this is a cool figure. I, I'm I'm liking it a lot. Hey man. <laughs> yeah, nice articulation. All the joints fit nicely together, as most build figures do these days. But yeah, glad to have Korg in the collection. Again, nicely sort of coloured pants, you know, really fit in that in that vibe of, of Taika Waititi and, you know, what he went with with uh, Ragnarok and Love and Thunder. So there is Korg. May he live long and hard, I guess. <laughs> All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. Please, if you want to see more Marvel Legends stuff, I'm happy to do it. I, I do enjoy them. I know the views probably won't get as many as my Star Wars stuff, but, um, you know, if I can make it sort of part of my sort of programming every now and then on here on my channel, it's uh, fun to do. I do love my Marvel Legends, even though I don't get them as strongly as I do with the uh, Star Wars, but it's all right. All right, folks, thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see you on the next video.